gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update. We are on week 28. Um, after this I start going to the doctors every two weeks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do an update every two weeks or not because um, I was doing them after every appointment just so I had more to talk about with you guys. So yeah this is going to be my 28 week update and I will start with um, what's been going on and then I will talk about on my appointment and then show you guys my bump. So I don't think anything too crazy has been happening. Um, really no big symptoms other than being tired and um, just just not being able to get comfortable when I'm sleeping. I have to like flip sides back and forth all the time um, and have like pillows in between me to like not roll my belly because I am a belly sleeper but you can't do that when you're pregnant. Um, so there's that, and then I'm having a lot of just back pain and being uncomfortable. Of course, um, I've had to start going to the bathroom a lot more, um, since I am getting more pregnant. Um, just things are becoming harder, obviously, because I am getting more pregnant, and that's just kind of what happens. Um, so not really too many, like, bad symptoms or anything like that. I haven't had really any any more cravings um occasionally i want a milkshake or i still like to have like milk at night um but so far nothing really consistent it's been if i want something it's kind of just random and then i don't really want it the next day after i get it i get it and i'm happy um so there's that <laughs> but today i had my 28 week appointment and today i took the glucose test um, so I did take the orange one, um, for some reason they didn't have me do it with Parker, the only thing they did was take blood, and that was that, but that was a different OBGYN, um, and it was a different hospital, this is like, separate thing, um, so I took the test there, and then I, you know, waited my hour and whatnot, um, my blood pressure looked good, and I gained, like, three pounds since my last visit um, which kind of made me feel bad uh, but it, it is what it is I'm pregnant um, and then I did get my blood drawn I had to get it drawn on my hand just because I am a hard stick I guess with my arms um, they can never seem to do it so it's always the hand which is just uncomfortable in itself just getting blood done from the hand um, and I heard baby girl's heartbeat it was 147 and she said that I am measuring at 29 centimeters which I will be 29 centimeters or 29 weeks and today's Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday in four days um so that's good that everything is looking good she did say that I could go ahead and register for the hospital and get all that that stuff done um so that should be fun trying to do all that I don't know if that's going to be a hard thing to do or not um but yeah, just there's not really anything too crazy going on right now. We just started the third trimester. This is the third trimester. So that's where everything's going to get a little, you know, more difficult, especially with having a toddler. Um, but honestly, taking the glucose test wasn't that bad. I expected it to be a lot worse, um, especially worse in taste because everybody made it seem like it was going to be such an awful experience. Um, and it really wasn't bad, that bad. I got the drink cold. Um, so that I feel like that helped um, and you know I drink it fine and then after that I felt a little like jittery um, but so she did say that I should get my test results back um, whether I passed or failed the glucose test either tomorrow or the next day um, I will insert you know whatever um, right here but I mean it went decently well the only part is you know obviously just waiting um, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to talk about for that. And then I will just go ahead and show you guys my app. Um, and then we will go on and I will show you guys my bump. So a lot of people are asking like if I'm the same size I was with Parker. Um, if what you know what's different and whatnot. I think at about now um, I'm a little bit bigger than I was like my bumps slightly bigger than I was with Parker but Parker I didn't get big till later on like like 30 
three weeks ish um i started showing around 26 weeks but i got like bigger at 33 weeks so i think it's probably going to be about the same for this pregnancy i started showing earlier like i started showing bloat much sooner and a like a little bump but it still like wasn't like a bump bump um until like later on which is you know the same as with Parker. i think i'm just like a little slightly bigger we'll see whenever i get to 33 weeks so i can do like a comparison photo because i know that i have a 33 week photo of my bump with parker um but yeah so this i am 28 weeks and three days currently and it says that the baby is the size of a head of lettuce um about 15 inches long and 2.25 pounds i'm not sure when my next ultrasound will be if I even get another ultrasound, I think I got with Parker, I got it like the day that I was induced, which was like at 38 weeks. Um, so I'm assuming that'll be like my next ultrasound. Um, cause we got 12 weeks to go, but I'm excited to be in the third trimester. I am going to start raspberry leaf tea when I'm about 30 weeks pregnant. Um, if you guys have any other things that you did to just help your postpartum experience, let me know because I didn't know about raspberry leaf tea when I was pregnant with Parker. Um, I know it can induce labor, but you can also, um, it helps with like bleeding and all of that other kind of stuff that you will, you know, have later on. I'm still taking my blood pressure pills. They're not blood pressure pills. They're just the baby aspirin so they don't have to take blood pressure pills. Um, so far it's staying low enough that I haven't had to be prescribed anything else. Um... So yeah, I'll show you guys, little baby. So that is how my pregnancy is going. Not really any bad symptoms besides just, you know, being tired, but that is also just being tired as a toddler mom and dealing with um, him. He's been a little crankier than usual lately because not taking naps and all of that. Um, so yeah, I think now I will just go ahead and do my bump shot for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope if you are pregnant, you're having a good pregnancy and I hope that you guys will continue to, you know, watch me and my channel. And if you're new, obviously subscribe. I would love that. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and look at my bump now. <laughs> to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside